question number 1 write the number of axes of symmetry in a rhombus rhombus in a rhombus we have two axes of symmetry question number 2 find the value first one 56.75 divide by 1000 when we are dividing a decimal number by 1000 the decimal point goes uh three places to the left side so the answer will be 0.05675 decimal point goes three places to the left side then uh, multiplying by 100 the decimal point goes two places to the right side 76.5 third question find the value of minus 4 plus minus 2 using the number line first we will mark minus 4 then uh, add add minus 2 we have to move two units to the left direction so the answer will be minus 6 Question number four. Write down sixteen as a power of two. We can write sixteen uh, as two to the power four. Question number five. Write down the expression. This expression in index notation. We can write like this: x to the power three times y to the power two. Question number six. The mass of a packet of milk powder. Is zero point four kilograms. Find uh, the mass of six such packets. We have to multiply this by six. Then uh, six into uh, four is twenty-four. Then we have to keep a decimal point. Two point four kilograms is the answer. Question number seven. Fill in the blanks using uh, the symbols less than or greater than. Here uh, the denominators are unequal. So first we have to equal the two denominators. We can multiply the first fraction by five and second one by two. Then uh, we obtain five over ten here. Then here six over ten. And what is the largest one? This one will be the largest one. Question number eight. If seven liters, two hundred milliliters of milk. Is poured equally into four bottles. Find the amount of milk in one bottle. The amount is seven liters, two hundred milliliters. Seven liter, two hundred milliliters. We have to divide this by four. Four times one four. Then three is remaining. It becomes three thousand. Adding this, we get three thousand two hundred. Four times eight is thirty two. Uh, then zero, then we can uh, divide like this. Then the amount in uh, one bottle is one liter, eight hundred milliliters. This is the answer. Question number nine: Is the year one thousand nine hundred a leap year? Give reasons to your answer. One thousand nine hundred is not a leap year. As uh, this year is not divisible by four uh, hundred, with years uh, with uh, multiples of hundred, we have to check whether they are divisible by four hundred. That's uh, question number ten. The length and the breadth of a book are twenty-five centimeters and eighteen centimeters, three millimeters respectively. How much the length is longer than the breadth? Uh, we have to subtract eighteen uh, centimeters, three millimeters. Yes, yeah, centimeter, millimeter, twenty-five minus eighteen uh, centimeter, three millimeter. Uh, we can't uh, subtract three uh, from zero here, so we have to take. One centimeter to this side, it becomes ten. Ten minus three is seven. Then this is twenty-four. 
24 minus 18 is 6. The answer is 6, uh, 6 centimeter 7 millimeter. That is the difference between the length and the breadth. Question number 11. Underline the correct answer. You are given this uh, diagram. The diagram shows a concave. The answer should be concave regular hexagon. Question number 11. Underline the correct answers. The diagram shows a convex regular hexagon. That is the answer for that. Question number 12. Find the value of A plus 3B if A equal to 2 and B equals 5. A equal to 2. We can substitute the given values for the unknown terms here. A equal to 2 and B equal to 5. 2 plus 3 times 5. Then 2 plus 15. The answer will be 17. Question number 13. Find the area of a square shaped classroom if the perimeter is 40 centimeters. We will take the classroom as this. I will take uh, length of one side as x. So I can write 4x equal to 40 centimeters. Then x can be found by 40 divided by 4. That is 10 centimeters. Question number 14. Write down an algebraic expression for the perimeter of the given figure. I can write the expression as perimeter means the uh, sum of the uh, surrounding lengths. So, uh, we can write here 2x plus 3x plus y plus 2y. This is equal to p, perimeter. Then p equal to 2x plus 3x is 5x, 5x plus 3y. Question number 15. The price of a pencil is x less than the price of a pen. If the price of a pen is p rupees, write down an algebraic expression for the price of three such pencils. Uh, how to uh, write the expression for one pen? Uh, one pencil, sorry. Uh, x less than the price of a pen. Pen cost P rupees. So we can write P minus 6. Then the price of 3 such pencils. This should be multiplied by 3. 3 times P minus 6. This is the expression. Question number 16. Find the value. First part. We are given this 12 plus 4 uh, divide by 2. Uh, when we are given additions, uh, subtractions uh, and divisions, multiplications like uh, these mathematical operations in an expression, first we have to perform the division or multiplication first. Here we have to perform this uh, division first. So I can write 12 plus 4 divided by uh, 2 is 2. Then 12 plus 2 is 40. Then here the multiplication should be performed first. 45 minus 15 uh, times uh, 3 is 45. Then 45 minus 45 is 0. Question number 17. Is the number 4897 divisible by 3? Give reasons. Here the last digit is 7. It is not a multiple of 3. So, this number is not divisible by 3. Question number 18. We are given this P. The set P is prime numbers less than 20. Represent the set P by a Venn diagram and write the number of elements of it. I will draw a close plane figure first. And name this as 
P. Then prime numbers less than 20. The first prime number is 2. 2, 3, uh, then 5, 7, 11, 13, 17 and 19. These are the prime numbers less than uh, 20. Then what is NP? The number of elements in the set is uh, 8. There are 8 elements in this set. Question number 19. Fill the empty cages. We have to take the answer of this. First one, two uh, directed numbers with uh, negative signs. When uh, two negative numbers are added, the answer also get a negative sign. Then we can add the two magnitudes. 8 plus 5 is 13. Then the answer will be minus 13 and half. Then here, two directed numbers with the opposite signs. We have to take the uh, difference between these uh, two magnitudes. 3.5. I will write here. 3.5 minus 0 0.6. Uh, then 15 minus 6 is 9. Then here 4. 4.9. Then the answer gets the sign of the largest magnitude. That is plus 4.9. Question number 20. Three bells ring at interval of 18 minutes, 24 minutes and 36 minutes respectively. If three bells ring together at 8 a.m., at what time will they, uh, will they ring together again? We have to take the least common multiple of the times. 18, 24 and 36. We, uh, I'll uh, use the division method here. First we have to divide by the smallest prime number that is 2. 2 times 9. Then 2 times 12. 2 times 18. Now again divide by 2. As uh, this is not divisible by 2, you have to write that number 9. Then 2 times 6. 2 times 9. Again divisible divide by 2. 2 times 9. Here uh, 2 times 3. Here you have to write 9. Now divide by 3 as all the numbers are not divisible by 2. 3 times 3. 3 times 1. 3 times 3. Now divide by 3. 3 times 1. 1. Here 1. LCM of the numbers is equal to the multiple of uh, these factors 2 in 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 then what is the answer here yeah, 8 8 times 3 is 24 24 times 3 is 72 this is the answer uh, after uh, 72 minutes 72 minutes uh, the three bells ring will ring together so we have to count 72 minutes. 72 uh, minutes from this. 72 minutes is equal to 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. 1 hour then 12 minutes. Now you have to count uh, 1 hour and 12 minutes from 8 day. 9 a.m. that then 9 12 a.m. will be the time we want here.